Right. So it's much like so that Murray's it's hard. To another Murray. So, oh, so I much don't know. So, so much so that it's hard to tell which robots are which. Yes. Uh, th- <laughs> that was a major gripe for me, too. Okay. Uh, let's get started because yeah. it's a terrible waste of time. Let's be honest. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, okay. So uh, we are just another comic show. I always want to say just another comic shop. So if we open a shop, we sh- that's what we should call it. Yeah, I'm on, I'm on board with, for with that. the underscores. Yeah, um, the underscores make it fun. <laughs> I want to thank everyone that is watching this. Uh, according to our numbers, probably there'll be 10 people. That is more people than you're allowed to see with COVID. <laughs> That's that's great. Just another <laughs> illegal show. Thank, thank you for thank you for welcoming welcoming us into your social circle. Uh, <laughs> so we are going to uh, review three comics today: uh, Maestro, War, and Pax. Even the title is incorrect. Um, mm. Transformers number twenty-seven. I think Transformers will. Uh, what is what did they call it? Is it uh, War War no. World? Yes, War, War World. World. Number twenty-seven, which uh, was confusing as heck, and <laughs> we will leave Superman: Worlds of War for last. How come everything's about war? Yeah, um, yeah. There was a very war-heavy theme this week. Yeah, I, I said that like I was excited about like oh, finally some war. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Let's start off with the most disgusting one first. Oh, okay. Go and ahead and, and tell me which one you thought that was. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm going to share okay. my screen. Oh, there we go. He's like hulking out as the Hulk already. Right, with death All in right. his eyes. <laughs> I, I thought so. So I thought this was a pretty disgusting comic in that um, it really praise the worst of humanity and it's sure. so opposite of what we know of as hulk mm-hmm. bruce banner he's old and sick and tired of it all yeah and he's willing to kill children well i mean only if they want to kill him first <laughs> let's be honest <laughs> yeah right after he antagonizes them <laughs> after he kills he's all like, the parents he's like well i killed your parents Listen, but he do you want to be my friend? And they're like, no, we hate you. And he's like, well, time to kill you too. <laughs> yeah. Pretty That's awful. the summary. So the title is War and Pax. Pax, as they explained in the comic, is the word peace. Right. Now that's wrong. Oh, cool. in another language. <laughs> so it's supposed Pax, to be Latin, right? Or something like that. Pax is a word that the Catholic Church has come up with to indicate the kiss of peace. Oh. oh, so at communion or whatever, they you get kissed. Ah, gotcha. And that's Pax. Uh, hmm. so, so this is not, a stretch. Maybe it's more like the kiss of death that Judas gave to Jesus. <laughs> I maybe, think, I think maybe what happened, Hulk was going to kiss people <laughs> and they took it out. What I think happened here was they wanted the title War and Peace, and they couldn't do that because of the 800-page book. So they went to a thesaurus oh. and like looked up the word peace. Saw one version of it that said yeah. this. Then they also came up with an acronym, which they explain. Yes. Which also doesn't make a lot of sense. Uh, so once again, Mike Hobson. And this oh, is a yeah. different Mike Hobson, uh, <laughs> which would be really <laughs> awkward. <laughs> that would be really strange if it was a different guy this time. They were twins <laughs> with the same name, and his parents were just really lazy. <laughs> they just wrote went, times two on the birth certificate. One noticed, went by Michael. I noticed this time that he's actually holding one of those paddle ball things. That with, yeah, like, oh yeah, having a, having a good old time. <laughs> you can just Mike. imagine him saying that word, you know, paddle ball, like that. <laughs> Yeah, almost like he's trying to sell it. Yes. <laughs> what if we included this in the comic? This low, low price. You can get a second. All you have to do is pay fees and shipping. And then we got Steve Jobs' stunt double over there on the couch. <laughs> right. Doing the man spread. 
which we talked about before. All right. So uh, th- this comic comes off the back of Maestro n- number one through five, I think it is. So there's a comic that kind of leads up to this comic. I'm really frustrated with comics that lead up to comics. Which seems like this and the Superman one, maybe. Yes. Because they're both like number ones, but they're both in the middle of something that's pretty Yeah, because they, even in the Superman one, they're like, by the way, if you're confused about what's going on, go read this. <laughs> it's like, well, this is number one. I shouldn't be confused about what's going on. I feel like Star Wars kind of did a good job of like, you didn't have to watch the first one to understand what's going on in the second one. There's some terms that you kind of missed. But sure. They could learn from that. Okay. Yeah. The Superman one's particularly bad. Uh, and we'll, we'll get there for, for that reason. <laughs> okay. Um, welcome to Hartford. So a lot was happening here that I didn't understand. Um, yep. And then, and then Maestro shows up. Maestro runs with the buffalo, apparently. <laughs> also... There's a massive speed difference here. Like, like the first oh, two oh. eyepieces, he's going at uh, like a reasonable pace, and then suddenly he's in front of the glass. <laughs> <laughs> he was there I, the whole I like time. To, I like to think he rocks. jumped. <laughs> oh, he jumped. That's reasonable. Was he was the in food? the sky the whole time. <laughs> is that is that him or is that bird? Is that a bird? Is that a plane? Oh, it's the Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, so what did you guys think of this Hulk book? Santa Claus Hulk. I kind of liked Santa Claus Hulk. But at the um, same time, I don't like his attitude. Right. Outside of, I think, the things we talked about kind of already, like the overall theme of it, I didn't enjoy. Uh, and that's him but, trying to take over every known city by killing everyone. That, by killing everyone, right? Yeah, like, it d- doesn't make fear. Yeah, to me, it doesn't fit with Bruce's, you know outlook on on things but again he's been alive a long time i don't know what time frame this is but obviously he's outlived a lot of things yeah yes uh yeah it just yeah but for me this comic was the most readable like i read it from beginning to end going oh okay yeah i i I guess i understood what happened in this i probably agree with that because of two because and and that's not because it was a great reader no it's yes. because the other comics were so much worse at putting together their stories yeah. i will also say this that in this comic um they used appropriate language yes yeah. um like you can believe that bruce talks like that you can believe that the kids talk like that the power rangers one which we'll get to it sounded like old english was being spoken <laughs> The Transformers, Transformers. One? I mean, Transformers. Yeah, yeah, like like super educated robots. Like yeah, using so, terms that were like, uh, I don't think I understand robot language. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is the scene here where these he says to his lieutenant, "Dispose of children. We're not monsters, lieutenant." And you're like oh, right. Great, and then they take out these little, these <laughs> little knives. <laughs> They're like, "Where's the bread? We want to butter it." <laughs> and then, and then uh, he kills them. And then, and then they hurt Hulk's feelings, so they get all get killed. <laughs> yeah. Go to hell. Go to hell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I mean, it's literally spelled out there. Hulk yeah. doesn't look. Hulk doesn't look thrilled about it, but. Still, still it happens. He also like doesn't have he, he, in his mind he doesn't have time to deal with this situation. But he actually has plenty of time uh, to deal with this situation. I agree. Like he rushes to every single fight. Like yeah, <laughs> if I don't get there ahead of the plumber, we're screwed. <laughs> <laughs> um, I thought that the drawing style was very Marvel. Very, mm-hmm. uh, very much the 2010 to 2020 style of drawing. They still don't understand how drones work. No. Um, 
<laughs> uh, but I, I felt so. This is Machine Man. He's got his own comic. Oh, I had no <laughs> idea who this was. Mm-hmm. I'm yeah. glad I know now. Aaron Stack. Aaron Stack is Machine Man. Uh, he's from probably the 70s, maybe? Yeah, 70s, late 70s. Um, and he's a bit of an idiot uh, <laughs> for being hot, like 95% robotic. There were some choices here that were very strange, like yes. putting this. I read this particular page a couple times just to be like, oh, oh okay, I get it. I see. <laughs> At first, I thought he was threatening him. <laughs> and then he's like, oh, no, it's just a microphone. It's like, oh, okay. Yeah, right. Like, he's pointing at him. How dare you? I I also was wondering if the minister actually had any powers at all. Because he's, I mean, he, couldn't he just get killed right here? Yeah. You mean Ralph? I mean, his name was Ralph. <laughs> right. let's, let's be clear no. what we're talking about. Here, Ralph. He made up, he had to make up that name. <laughs> I love that he was so clear about it too. He's like, no, 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 that's a title. What's your name? And he's like, uh, right. Ralph. Uh, Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't want to give his real name, so he just thought about what his favorite Muppet baby was. <laughs> or as watched, everyone would. He watched favorite Murray's favorite show and he kept thinking, Ralphie, you're gonna shoot your eye out. I, I, I no, that's Oh, I thought we were extending Alf to Ralph. And like, <laughs> Elf was Murray's favorite show because that's more close to the truth. You know that uh, that comic... does Elf have a comic? Yes, Elf's got a comic. Time to read it. There is a rare comic for Elf where he is holding a seal, but it looks like he's humping the seal. Oh, and the seal well, looks very distraught. <laughs> that comic's like two hundred and fifty bucks. Very rare, very hard to get. And Marcel's been looking for it. Oh yeah, <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was printed within the time Marcel's looking for. So um, yeah, we have Santa Hulk riding a fairy, as Santa Hulk would. <laughs> I've never been on a fast ferry, and you know, all his minions and his robotic rats on there too. Yeah, he's, see, he just has all the time in the world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, okay. Let's give our thoughts about this one. I got a feeling we're going to spend a lot of time on the Superman one. Yeah, I, I would like to spend a lot of time on that. Holy crap, you're right. This comic sells for like over $150, like consistently. <laughs> yes. Uh, if you had it up for 140 or 30 it would sell instantly. Like there's a huge market yeah. for it. Alf number Alf number forty eight, printed in nineteen ninety one. It took me a while to understand uh, who these like yes. macho macho men were. Yes. Uh, I mean, what's funny though? I was interested enough in what was going on in this this comic to where when I was slightly confused about who these people were, I actually Googled it just to be like. <laughs> Oh, okay. Okay, I get it. But like, there were way more that, interested in it than that, I am. That point mm. didn't come for either of the others. I'll just, <laughs> let, you know. I'll just let you know that. No, let's be honest. The Superman one did not require rocket science to understand it. No, I'm, I'm fairly <laughs> certain a five year old wrote it. <laughs> so, and, I'll, no, and I have other thoughts about it, but I'll hold I'll hold them yeah, for yeah. when we when yeah, we. Yeah, we're being it. a little unfair right now to Superman. I, I guess what I like about this comic is it feels like a classic comic pacing. 100%. And it has, you know, some setup and then some action and then some stuff that you're like, I don't understand. And then they kind of tell you a little bit more. Yeah. That's a great, you know, comic layout. But yeah, you know, I don't know. Um, it, yeah, it, it does feel very comic y. Like, yeah, it has action throughout. There's some dialogue to follow along. Um, a little bit of comedy, a little bit of, you know, mystery. Um, I don't know if, I guess I would probably look at the second one because it's a, it says number two. So it's yeah. like how many, you know, in, until they get the story fleshed out, I might actually look at a few more of these. 
Yeah, I think it's I think it's like a five or six issue saga or something. So mm. there's okay. a few. Um, interesting fact: when they build cyborgs, they apparently use a spinal cord. They always <laughs> build the spine. <laughs> <laughs> always from this dude to the borg in star trek to like anywhere else they build humanoid robots or androids always build the spine otherwise when you kill them you can't do the satisfying like pull the head off this so this is what made me want to look at the next one i'm like what is going on here he's just like hey I like I how, how he's a little cold, and he's he hates, <laughs> he hates being wait, you know, having to wait out in the cold. He's like eighty percent metal. <laughs> yeah, you guys are gonna have to drag me in now. <laughs> um, I I do like when you think of the Marvel universe, there are very few characters that would live a thousand years or more. Um, so I think they're gonna probably try and bring every single one of them in. <laughs> Right. Um, but I mean I I thought this was a <laughs> this is a good uh introduction of a character. They would call this a cameo. Okay. Um but yeah. There's a lot of Doctor Doom fans out there. So overall rating out of five one in one in ten. Oh out of, out of five, okay. Yeah, five. Okay. There's six Six or Hold ten. On, I got to gotta... the other comics. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say I have to translate mine now from one to. <laughs> give it him whatever. Uh, I will give Rate it. Rate it in donuts. You want to do I donuts? Give it a two... Out of ten donuts. <laughs> out of ten donuts. Okay, out of ten donuts, this gets a uh, five point five, five and a half donuts. Okay. That might be the highest rating we get today. It, it is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I give it a five too. I think um, it's funny because we typically all agree with our, our scoring, but the comic meant different things for us. Um, I thought they suffered from not introducing the characters well enough. And really showing, and it's probably on purpose that they wanted to do this, but it was really brutal, like some of the stuff that was done. Sure. Yeah, I would also say five is probably where where it, it would lie for me. I, I I feel like there was should be have been a comic before this, and oh, that there was a whole might series have, before this. Well, I mean, <laughs> in terms of a number one on yeah. the on the cover, yeah, and maybe that would have made me you know rate it a little higher in the world that we're reading yeah even in zero like a comic zero with the introduction to the characters and what happened before i kind of miss 90s sitcoms where they were like in the previous episode <laughs> previously on x-men <laughs> Jean gray fell down <laughs> wolverine <laughs> saved her wolverine caught her <laughs> Cyclops pushed some stuff away with his optic glass and Wolverine <laughs> took his claws out and then attacked a guy with his hand. Because that's sen- exactly how they did it. The Sentinels were again useless. <laughs> Wolverine slashed something that was clearly going to go over his head. Yes. We're transitioning comics. Stuck in a so. tree. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know, All right. Kitty, All right. Trans- kitty pride. Transformers. You know he's a transformer because his head is in his chest. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. He transformed badly. <laughs> I have so many questions about this comic. Uh, yeah. All of the twenty six others been, that preceded. I was about to say, which may be explained in twenty six other. I, I feel issues. like I have more questions about the characters. Yes. Than about the story. Um. I thought 27 would be okay because we know about Transformers. We have a past with Transformers. Sure. It did not go well. Mm -mm. Okay, so who wants to go first? Um, Transformers talk a lot. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, like how is it that the comic about robots that transform into cars, uh, animals, 
and what was the third thing we talked about that they sometimes turn into like tools oh, or dinosaurs. objects dinosaurs oh, but they also like, turn into objects have so much to say yes non-stop talking about stuff how have they not come up with some sort of communication device that doesn't require speech bubbles <laughs> yeah like revving their engines or something <laughs> oh talking with your mind <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> that might yeah. have made the comic worse, Rob. It was just revving sounds. Uh, you know what? I'm, I actually don't know that I think that's true. <laughs> um, yeah, just I, I kind of expected some, some fantastic um, art pieces in here, and there was all there was very few. Yes, and mm-hmm. I thought there would be like every other page would be. I mean, there's so much art in comics anyway. Yes. Um, I thought they would use the Transformers as an opportunity to really like anime it out to something, you know, fantastic. I, yeah. Something yeah. that struck me too is between the different robots, right? I feel like these were all characters that got introduced during different eras of Transformers being a thing. And now they're kind of forced to use them all. Mm. So to me, the art style seemed inconsistent between robots, even. Um, like if you go back to that other page that shows like the characters. <laughs> yeah, the explanation like, page. They seem, these don't, some of these don't seem like they belong here. <laughs> yeah, like this guy, Huffer. <laughs> yeah, like him, it's like, okay, so I drew that. And Cosmos. Um, yeah. And, but then there are some that are, that are more intricate. But I don't know. Yeah. That that, that was odd screen. to me. So, so I have a question. Yeah. <clears throat> and and I didn't look this up, and maybe it would trigger my memory if I did. Were there like girl in bikini transformers? <laughs> like in this <laughs> I mean, before? I'm sure <laughs> I'm sure if I search for that on the internet, I'll find it. <laughs> okay. But whether it's canon forward, go no. one page forward and like this when I was looking through this, like that girl in the back in the first panel. Yes. It was like, wait a minute. I don't remember Transformers looking like that. <laughs> yes. Uh, and, and and I thought, when did this happen? Is this like a comic thing only or so there's the legacy Transformers from like 84 or whatever it is, and they didn't do stuff like this. There is a new show called 20X um that kind of does stuff like this. And okay, and where does that show air? <laughs> I d- <laughs> <laughs> it's on asking a streaming- for a friend it's on a <laughs> streaming service um i'm asking for rob he's texting me about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's what it is well let me tell you this uh, from from my quick google searching do not search for <laughs> bikini girl transformers <laughs> you don't get what you want <laughs> unless, <laughs> unless yeah it, it just doesn't work out uh it's not Nova Star. Oh, it's this one. Windblade. Okay. Yes, it's Windblade. Okay, anyway, yes. okay. So what else about this one? Okay. So blood 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 is the gunshot sound. Mm, right? Because they're kind of lasery. Yeah, blood blood. I think and then there's zoop. <laughs> so there was a scene here. Kangle. Yeah. Right. So that was something I was going to point out. Yeah. The sound effects in this, clang, clang, clang. a lot of them just had me laughing. Uh, clang, 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 clang. I mean, I clearly understand <laughs> that, yes, he's changing into a robot to fly. I mean, changing into a, a like a well, space shuttle. And I remember <laughs> the sound from the Transformers movie and from the television show, the like, vroom, 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 vroom. like yeah. that's the sound I'm used to. Not <laughs> Clang, clang. <laughs> he's he's got like, a screw loose in that transforming process. I will, someone I will someone say, was on the ground banging <laughs> pots together. A space shuttle shapes like this? Oh. I know very little about astrophysics <laughs> and spacecraftery. But that thing's not going anywhere. <laughs> no. Uh, there was, there's a, oh, here's more clang, clang, clang. Oh yep, clang clunk. 
<laughs> Grank no, Grank. 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 Grank Kalunk. Yeah, Grank he showed Kalunk. up. And then I liked um Iron Man Transformer. Like Lady Iron Man Transformer was on that page. Oh, oh, oh. At the bottom. See, La- Lady Iron Man, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Windblade is very popular. Well, like, Mari I'm, knows I'm, why. I Googled Windblade Transformers and then did image search. Like there one, there's a lot of toys and a lot of like like busts and figures also. Like but it does look like there's newer animation of it, so I think you're right. Yeah, like a, a newer show. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. There's a lot of blood blood happening on this. I feel like yeah. halfway through the comic, it became an action comic. It became like what you expect a Transformers comic to be like. Yeah, and I admit that it, at some point I stopped reading the whole, all of the text. Right. Like it just, I, I don't know. I felt so lost in the first half of the comic, even like trying to sit and read the text um, that I just lost interest in what was going on like halfway through. So the time we got, the time we got here, I'm not sure I was reading what was going on. I, I think I skipped a little bit as well, but I did pick up, pick a few panels back up later when it looked more interesting so this like is about halfway or three quarters of the way through this is where i kind of griped about the language so top left panel wiring up sections of flooring you've got to admire how quickly they improvised all these obstacles and traps really yeah that, that's that was really wordy he really could <laughs> he could have just said wow i'm surprised how quickly they got all these traps set up. No, I should <laughs> yeah. not have Rob Ryder. <laughs> I didn't say it, that was going to be good, but <laughs> it was a lot less wordy than yeah that paragraph you read. Like, do you have to what about that other both <laughs> obstacles and traps? <laughs> what yes, about the or that other to... bubble to the right <laughs> where where it, they have to add? That's real just. <laughs> I mean, okay. I it's, mean, it is. Yeah, <laughs> it's awful. I mean, I I don't like Transformers riding motorbikes. Is it another Transformer? <laughs> I know. Like, are they, they riding like another Transformer? Yes. <laughs> she is riding another Transformer, and then she throws him away. <laughs> yeah, and then she's like, yeet. She's just gone. <laughs> he eats him. Sorry. He eats I got him. him. Crump. You know, that famous explosion sound. <laughs> Trash. And then, you know, this this guy over here doesn't have any any blots. Nah, he transforms into a refrigerator. A bloodless. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah is where I got confused. Notice the very bottom frame on the right side. Blood bloods. Hmm. Notice the frame next to it on the left. Who's shooting? Who who knows? Blop blop might be the falling sound now. <laughs> <laughs> on the, the left panel. Hmm. There's no gunfire going on. Also, there's a transformer named Huffer. Yes, there's a transformer called Huffer. This- is he a can of paint? Like, what is he? Or is he a big fat cow like in Rocco's Modern Life? <laughs> <laughs> it's a vat of glue. Uh, so, okay. Uh, what did you guys think? All right, we're getting to the point where I thought the comic should have looked like this the whole way. Like, oh, the, that yes. Panel, yes. This is what I was expecting in the comic was these panels where it's a little anime-esque and, you know, yeah, like these kind of things. There's not a ton of words. There's a little bit going on. And of course, you know, it tells a story visually. That's what I thought was going to happen. And you get to it, you know, three quarters of the way in or near the end. Yeah, I I do think that a lot of these comics kind of had that money shot. Like you open up two panels and it's beautiful. 
Right. And then the rest was done by the garbage guy next door. No one shall stop bothering Murray. Hmm. Um, <laughs> uh, <clears throat> yeah, I I don't know. I'm... So what are you, what are we gonna rate this thing? I don't think we need to talk about. Oh, <laughs> what's going on here? By He's the way, whispering <laughs> to another transformer. Because they have no other form of communication. That's, yeah, that's how they want to. <laughs> apparently, they have ears that we can't see. No, he's, he's whispering into his neck. So he's giving him a kiss. <laughs> this is how they were advertising the next issue. Okay, yeah. Okay. Remember when it was like the other comic ended, and it was like Doctor Doom showed up. This one's like next episode: Transformers kissing. It's like, and it's not even. Windblade, the one that people want to see kissing. <laughs> it's like Starscream and Megatron. This is one of the other covers. Uh, when did this happen? I don't even really remember that Transformer. Uh, all right. No. What are we thinking? I, I'll, I'll, let, I'll let someone else go first this time. I'll give it yeah. a three. Ooh. I thought it redeemed itself a little bit with some of the panels, but it was inconsistent, way too much speaking. I mean, it was like being in a meeting with me. Uh, <laughs> I've been in a handful of those. <laughs> Rob actually started started uh, humming in one of my meetings with him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because he was it so happens. bored by yeah. <laughs> what I was saying. I, I still do that, but now I can mute people, mute myself over Zoom, right. so I still hum. <laughs> All right, so I give it a three. Three donuts. Yeah, I although I would love to eat more than this amount of donuts, I only give it a two. <laughs> I was with I was closer to Murray's score. I was gonna two. give it two and a half donuts. I'm really a fan of the half, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> You're that idiot yeah. that cuts the donut in half because he thinks he's gonna need half a donut. It's like how many thumbs up do you give it, Rob? I like <laughs> one and a half. <laughs> No, it's either two thumbs up or one <laughs> thumbs up or no thumbs up. One, stop being a, stop one being a moron. And a big toe. <laughs> yeah, I get my foot up here. No one wants that. Uh, yeah, but like, yeah, two and a half. I, I thought it was super, super wordy. The, the, the wording they chose was very bizarre, hard to read, but there was a few panels that looked really excellent. Some of the artwork was awesome, yeah. but I was expecting that more throughout. Yeah. So I just was, it didn't keep my interest enough. I really th rarely thumb through a comic and not read it, and I had to do that in this one. All right, let's talk about the uh, disaster called Future State. <sighs> so here's what's Why? hard about this, is that it's... I so badly just want to review the Superman portion of it. Yes. But we but can't. But I can't. Because it's a whole They've comic. polluted the yeah. goddamn comic... With six other stories. <laughs> one, one. I was just, I was reading just to get through it because I'm like, this is dumb. This is the dumbest thing. Why is this here? I skipped through um, one just because the art style was pukish. Like, I'm yes. not even reading this. Yeah, <laughs> I read it. I'm pretty sure uh, because I, I thought, read the whole thing. I thought I it read would the tie whole thing. Superman, but it no. didn't. No, it, it never did. Really weird. So this is an issue one again. Where yes. we get thrown into the middle of something that we don't, you know, maybe understand what's going and on. And Superman's actually dead. So this comes off the back of dead. deceased planet where Superman has died and Superboy has taken the mantle of Superman. Uh, All right. But so he's, is but he but he's is he a is he dead fighting these other guys later in the comic then? It is completely unclear. Okay. So what, it's unclear which Superman it is. Although, so the story, you know, as you can see, it's starting out in Smallville, but they clearly are tying Smallville to Superman. So then you yes. kind of learn that they've, you know, they know Clark is yeah. Superman. Yeah. And there's all kinds of weird... Um, tie-ins to like his old teachers and like the yep. things he wrote like stuff that everyone trying to cash in yeah yeah yes, like everyone... his, using using his old homework as like scripture i think yeah. They, yeah yeah right so so although that's very weird it's kind of a neat like story in a comic yeah. you know like 
what would happen if they found out and they went back to Smallville and everyone realized they grew up with Superman and, you know, it, it was, it was neat to see this play out. Although it is really weird. <laughs> I agree with you. I actually enjoyed mm-hmm. this comic. I was, I was really enjoying this first part of it quite a bit. Yes. Um, Superman dead. I'm on board. No, I'm, that's not why. <laughs> no, I just thought, I just actually really liked this angle. I thought it was very interesting. It got, and, and yeah. Oh, sorry. I was going to say about this panel that you were just turning to how one of the things I liked is mm. the way they told the story is someone's telling a story about how Superman saved them once, but they never even saw him. So they show this swoosh and that's all they know about being saved by Superman. And, and that's yeah. kind of how, you know, people are in that world. Like they might not be hang out with Superman for panels and panels. Like the reader does. You're all, they're only there for an instant. Mm. Yeah, and I will say what I liked about this was you definitely got that feeling of over exaggeration. Like, yep. you know, every what they say isn't fact. Everything's quoted, right? So you kind of get that feeling of uh, he went so fast that the world shook, right? <laughs> yeah, he pulled me up to the heavens without even breaking my spine. So, <laughs> so you kind of yeah, that's a good point. Or the bottom panel where he's, yes. he says somewhere like he he did most of the fight with me under his arm. Yeah, it's like okay, yeah. well, maybe <laughs> he blocked a few things and dropped <laughs> it off. <laughs> sure. Sure. In our current day, Superman, he would have used the kid as a shield <laughs> and, then, and then thrown the child at Magog or whatever he is. <laughs> <laughs> um. But I did, I mean, I, I was still on board with all the yep. storytelling. Uh, I thought it was appropriate. So he is um, de- uh, deceased and everyone zombied and they busy killing him. This is when they're, they were quoting about how many times did he actually fight and save the cosmos and we yeah. don't even know about it. And I think this is probably a callback to those comics which i haven't read or you know don't know yeah, anything I, about i really want to read them I've, I've read about them um i think superman sacrifices himself because he realizes that as a zombie he would be too powerful for them to stop him mm. there's already a superman zombie there yeah i know <laughs> he's that like a little weird yeah come to me brother yeah it'll be interesting yeah. I mean, I mean, let's be honest. Zombie Aquaman and Flash aren't going to do a whole lot. <laughs> right. <laughs> Does zombie Flash move fast or still slow like zombies do? <laughs> I, hope it's, I hope it's slow. Like, it would make me laugh otherwise. And we have zombie Hawkeye. I mean, Hawkeye. Hawkman. Hawkman. Oh, yeah. Zombie uh, Green Lantern. Green Lantern. This is Hawkwoman. And... Night, is that zombie Night. Nightwing? <laughs> yep. Just a regular dude. Zombie Nightwing. <laughs> he is Cyborg in the bottom corner. Mm. In the left corner. I feel like... Eh, I don't know. Um, And then we have this disaster. Like, this is where it starts to go a little off the rails. Yeah, where they're kind of like, what if there were more super, like... Yeah, like, Krypton was a space age city so they must be more um and what if they had amazing mustaches or goatees <laughs> and goatees <laughs> and bold shiny heads uh i'd wear so that suit <laughs> it's version three <laughs> uh, <laughs> so you know i thought this comic so this story although it's not getting very weird over here uh oh yeah they talk about like maybe maybe superman's not really a, a shapeshifter a person, but he's yeah. kind of a an entity that goes from planet to planet yeah. yeah and he just picks the buffest form he can except when he's a octopus thing well you never know maybe he's <laughs> that, maybe that is a particularly buff octopus insect squid <laughs> and there's some Awesome art gear. Yeah. I mean, this picture of Superman flying up um, to the sun is spectacular. Mm-hmm. 
Um, and then the sun births out all kinds of super beings as it, <laughs> as it does. Well, he's definitely going to be naked by the time he comes back down. <laughs> he's wearing human clothes. Um, yeah, I mean, it got very weird here with Dark Side. Um, it felt very... So, so then, yeah, they, they're, they're all wondering where, you know, if he's dead or if he's just gone. And then suddenly they... <sighs> flash to, to reality because they're they're still quoting from the previous scene in this so it's like the same time just another place in the universe mm. yeah i feel like unfortunately for them this felt very thor like to me yeah yeah it, it was um, and I don't think it's because of like the fighting style or whatever, but once again, some beautiful things going on here, like this shot mm-hmm. of the eyes. Um, yeah, you know, nice touch with the, with the future Superman symbol. Yep. Yeah. He's wearing that shield on his costume too, on, on this. Uh, so wherever that came from, I don't know, uh, in this story. Right, but he's he's wearing it already. So the so with future state, I believe they're hoping to blend them into the movies and the TV show and all that kind of thing. So maybe mm. Nick Cage will show up uh, and play his role as Superman. <laughs> so what we want, or they'll right? just talk about it. Remember that time? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Oof! Thank goodness that didn't happen. And then they remember the on. dark time we had <laughs> where. <laughs> Nicholas so, Cage. At the bottom of that, I was so intrigued. At this point, I was like, hey, I like this, you know. And yeah. look, I'm not even halfway through the comic. This is going to be great. And then it says, next, the many deaths of Superman. And I was like, oh, yeah. wow, this is going to be interesting. And then the rest of the comic was very difficult to get through. And then you get something someone drew on their toilet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, what I want to do is, what would we give the Superman story? Oh, that's interesting. I guess let if Mur- I were let to Murray go first, yeah. If I were to say this is where the comic ended, you know, I'd say you pretty much get your your money worth out of the cover charge. I mean, it was it was great, a great kind of setup, a little weird um, for the Smallville to be like that, but hey, that's the world they're they're depicting, and then they go into this superman battle scene and it's like you know he's getting ready for some big battle here and he's obviously at a disadvantage been there a long time yeah um and, but he's still trying to protect the person that's with him you know he's still acting like superman <laughs> I, I thought that was i thought that was neat but um but you know they they stop right before the action so they show this cover and they basically say you don't get this we're going to stop about 10 seconds before this happens. Before, right. And uh, you'll, you know, look forward to the next comic. So I, I don't really like when they do that, but I would say this is the highest rated. I would put this as the highest rated comic that we read if it stopped right here yeah. at like a six Easily. and a half or, or something. Yeah, yeah, I would put it at seven. I okay. Mean, I was I was going towards seven. Yes. No half this time. Here's the problem. Though, oh, okay. Is the state it's in, the future state it's in, has those other stories in the back, but it's also a six dollar comic. Okay, I, oh. didn't, I don't think I knew that. <laughs> it's not a four dollar comic. You're paying for less pages of Superman and more pages of crap. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. So let's look at the crap. Yeah. So I so, guess yeah. my comment then about cover charge would be that if it was that four dollar, you know, three ninety nine yeah. comic, yeah, 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 that, yeah. and it ended there, I'd be like, okay, I'd be happy with that. I'd pick up the next issue. Completely agree with you, one hundred percent. Yeah, a little pricey. My my score definitely changes as we include everything. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, yeah. It yes, and that that'll be the interesting thing is to see where we end up. Like, where does a reader end up after being at a seven? Mm-hmm. Um. I was actually hopeful for Mr. Miracle and then I turned the page and it looks like they stopped coloring in. Like, they just gave up. They used all their color on that first panel. And they just, you know, I, 
garbage language. Who cares? The robot, again, is very wordy, so I think they understand this is a transformer that he's with. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a go-bot. He's talking to a transformer. Figured that out. Uh, I like his also, little uh, hoverboard thing. Oh, yeah, chunk. it is a it's definitely Whoa. transformer. Yeah. And he's like, what's going on here? I didn't know what's going on. I wasn't sure what was going on until like I got to the, the end. Yeah, right. So here. also what's weird is this whole co- section of comic, I think the whole thing, the whole story is just layered panels like this. It's not like a yes, you yes. know, like a comic book flow. It's um almost like a newspaper, you know, funnies section where it's just like yes. single panes. What's really confusing to me when I was reading this was that where he ends up looks kind of like the place where Superman was. Yes, and I thought that was the thing that they were going to do. I was like, how are they going to tie these two art forms together? (laughs) Um, The art gets worse when the lights turn on. And this is not Batman. No, it's uh, Midnighter, right? Yeah, yeah who I learned to extremely dislike in this comic. Uh, yeah. So it is the same. Universe. Yeah. There's that. Yeah. There's the S. Yeah. I, I figured this was happening in the same universe. Well, I guess it has to be. It's... This may be a different time in the same, in that same area. I don't know. Yeah. I, I don't know I, either. I, 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 I I think my impression, and obviously I have no idea if I'm right, uh, is that he was here to look for Superman, and this is kind of where it led him. And he doesn't know who Clark is. (laughs) Sure. (laughs) Because he asks Clark who. Here's here's where (laughs) everything went. I mean, there was a sharp, a sharp, <laughs> sharp drop off in the comic score past this point. It's very confusing that they're kind of doing a six degrees of separation, like Superman, Mister Miracle, Midnighter. Oh um, yeah, I didn't even really pick up on that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what is this? What, what is this guy? Is this the back of his head or the front of his head? <laughs> well, they I, th- they died and came back to life, <sighs> and then died again. again. Yeah, chunk. Easy now. I I I don't know. I don't know what to say. Like. The what did we do last time? The Green Lantern one. The secondary yeah. stories were really good. Oh yeah, they had some definitely they were, interesting. Um, they were better. Yeah, they were better than this. <laughs> yeah, they were like, hey, let's. Then it gets really kind of gross. Yeah. And and because of what's happening, almost every panel, if you had to take it by itself, you would think this is a Batman comic. Let's be honest. You're like I, I thought he was Batman until, <laughs> until I learned that he wasn't. Uh, I was like, trick. oh, you're someone else. Here's the trick. Batman has 10 of his own comics coming out in three months, so in two months. Oh, please tell me one of them is Batman Future State. Oh, there is a Batman Future State. Oh, good. It's already out. So, And here's these guys <laughs> with like... With like minigun penis. <laughs> and they're like, yeah, we did it. High five. At least five. they high five. I hope, I hope nothing kills us. Thing. How are they high fiving? Are they guns meeting each other in the middle? <laughs> 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 and then he's like, no, I'm not dead. <laughs> yeah, because Batman, who punches Ooh. so that Ooh. blood Ooh. ends up on their inner knuckles? Like this. <laughs> <laughs> Get him! Get him! He's a cat. 
I mean, this is a Batman silhouette, right? Like that, they do that all the <laughs> yes, time. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, it's probably from Batman like 653. They just <laughs> took the panel out of the comic. They removed his little ears. Or like, <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. And oh. then I got confused again. Like, who was that? If you go oh, back. Uh, who is this? Superman. It's a Superman. I mean, it, it looks like <laughs> Superman, but not like <laughs> like is this his son? Like, well, he says, "Were you expecting someone else?" I was <laughs> <Not> clearly. <laughs> I kind of expected the were. whole comic to be about Superman. <laughs> what a what an idiot I was. I mean, was he expecting anyone? There's no indication yet that he was expecting anyone. <laughs> right. Except for he clearly expected to have to shoot a bunch of people right. or punch them to death with the <laughs> inside of his knuckles. Braca, braca, braca. Did he stick his hand inside someone? It's, you know, it just... I, I mean, you, I mean... <laughs> he gets so much. <laughs> what I've seen from this world, the last thing you want is a white suit. <laughs> <laughs> this guy just knows how to punch better. Like he's not gonna do this. So uh now for the dog episode. And now it just keeps getting better. I don't know that I read this. Like I'm I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie. I'm not sure I actually read what happened here. I had lost so much interest at this point. Um I like this. DC Comics proudly presents future state black racer do we really have to call people black when in the comic like put the word black in their superhero name we're still doing in their black black panther black goliath Uh, black lightning yes yeah we know that the, the name white lightning is so much better yeah and also, isn't 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 there a white tiger? Or yes. Is that power? Yeah. Okay. But yeah. but they are also black, right? Yes. Yeah. Anyways. Okay, okay. I'm I'm gonna be honest. I actually did skip a bunch of this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I, I at one point I was like, oh, maybe I should read it. They're like racing these cool robots, but then I decided no. <laughs> okay, so here's the problem that I have with this panel. And it's a double panel, right? No, it's not. No, it, it is. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Okay. okay. Uh, my window's not big enough. I thought it was a double panel. You know how much approval you need to do a double panel? Because mm. it's not moving the, fo- the story forward more than a tiny little, yeah. you know, comic piece. This should tell a story. This should be like the epic center of your story with major things going on. Yeah. So when I saw this double panel, I was like, oh, okay, we're going to get into something good. So I went back one page to (laughs) reread what I skipped. (laughs) And then when I went to the next page, I realized there was no, you know, no, just like what you were saying, it didn't actually do anything to the story. Epic wise, but I did start to think, oh, okay, we're we're getting into something interesting here. And then it actually wasn't. Yeah, it got way worse. <laughs> um. Yeah, it's not good. I mean, this that green this guy is, is Superman. This <laughs> this is awful. <laughs> that they show her jumping through a window and then rolling out of it. Mm. Right. Um, this nation of aliens is very multicultural. Yeah, good for them. It's kind of like they're kind of like the tricks cereal of aliens. (laughs) You get a little bit of a little bit of everything. There's a lot of colors. Um. But yeah. in the end, they all taste the same. Yeah, in the end, you know, if you were to eat them all, they'd all taste the same. Um, I don't understand what's going on here. 
she's going to break the electrical thing that sets them free. Yeah, she broke it. Yeah, but she... Okay, I get that, guys. I'm not an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> but We're all she... coming up with the story that's obvious on the page. <laughs> she hits the wall thing. <laughs> and breaking that is not something any of them had ever thought. And it went grunge. Why is she pulling the tools to her? Uh, you know... Is she just stealing from them? She's probably just stealing from them. To bring I, I don't know. They look it. they look pretty pleased. I don't I don't understand. Like, so it's what's like a magnetic thing. Yeah, but it's not used here in the crunch. Maybe magnets break the box, or maybe she uses all those things that are floating around as like the weapon to push. I thought so too, but, but clearly they're not there. They're not there. <laughs> They don't even drop to the ground. No. <laughs> She's just stealing from them. She's like, I'll break this box and take all your tools. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, they all got freed somehow. Yeah. It's, oh, it because she smashed head. the box. Yeah. That's right. I and do like dead. how they how they get into bowling formation. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry, everyone <laughs> spread out so I can't protect you all. <laughs> it makes rescue, rescuing so much easier when you only have to worry about one or two people. Uh. <laughs> uh. Uh. Oh, now, I, okay, there was a slight like, getting peak, better. At the, peak at the end. <laughs> Where we got to hang out with Mayim Bialik from Big Bang Theory. <laughs> um, oh, no, she's got her own show now. Oh, that I that's oh. that's true. Is it called Punky Brewster <laughs> Grows Up? No, uh, no there is a Punky Brewster oh, show Blossom? coming. Okay, I couldn't there remember a, who she. There is a Punky Brewster re, uh, remake coming. Oh, um, that has the original cast in it. <laughs> oh, I hope they're all There's... playing the same parts and are supposed to be the same age. I don't know that I've seen a worse cyborg drawn. <laughs> <laughs> I'll draw something. <laughs> it might be pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> and this makes cyborg and Beast Boy relationship seem really strange. <laughs> Marcel, how come you don't have do you have flash facts? Why can't we why can't we read that? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is Flash novel? Hold on a kids. second. Is Flash super speed looking at something through a microscope? Because how? <laughs> well, he, he can't, how does that help? Flash, I hope he didn't can't afford his, his own microscope. He probably stabbed that, his eyes out. Does that really help him see it better? <laughs> I, I I love that. Like, okay, she's she goes through and it's like Flash explains how he uses forensic to track the criminals, and then okay. Like, I understand why that's important. And then Supergirl shows us where Earth fits into the greater galaxy. It's like, okay, like, why is she doing that, though? Because <laughs> Flash can't go up there and do it, Rob. Yeah, I know that. But, like, <laughs> what use of is that? Like, like uh, Cyborg demonstrates to Beast Boy how virtual reality works. No one cares. Why? If Beast Boy doesn't understand virtual reality... <laughs> <laughs> no, no one cares or doubts that that's the fact. <laughs> Why is Flash looking at on the screen over here? He's like, hmm. He's like, I do see bones. <laughs> this lady's leg. Uh. Um. Okay. So, introduction of immortal Wonder Woman. Okay. Uh, which and, I haven't heard of. I like the I liked reading this little blurb about it. it mm -hmm. That might be interesting. She's got a little Batman belt going on. Yes. Yeah. In remembrance of Batman who died because he was a regular human. I, immortal Wonder Woman, will wear <laughs> his his utility belt. <laughs> She's like, that way, if sharks ever attack me. I, I will have shark repellent. The shark repellent. There's a whole episode of Batman 66 where Joker thought 
the only power that Batman had was his utility belt. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they always take it away. Yeah. <laughs> is she got like I'm trying to figure out like is she got like a she's got like a green pendant thing that she's wearing too. Yes. It's probably um, probably the green lantern ring. <laughs> it's, yeah, maybe it's oh. a lantern ring. That'd be hilarious. Um the other weird thing is that that means Batman is about her size. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Batman has bulked up a little bit in some of the more modern stuff. Is uh, there a Batman are you referring to? <laughs> I'm, ter- yeah. I'm talking about Batfleck, okay? Right. <laughs> and by bulk up, you mean got fat? <laughs> <laughs> That's what we call it. <laughs> <laughs> I've also been bulking up. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't think I've seen a more unnatural thing of Murray flexing his biceps. <laughs> bulk, showing the bulk up. You know, it's like a Hulk out, but more DC. <laughs> what are your thoughts on Nubia? I had never heard of this. Oh, is neither, is neither she a I. Wonder Woman or is she something else? She's new. She, she dresses like Wonder Woman with the lasso, but does is there more than one lasso of truth? Uh, I do not know. Hmm. Uh, I think I read that she is somehow related to Wonder Woman. So she's she's another Amazonian that yes, yes comes she, out into the world. Is, yeah. Maybe there's more one lasso of, than one lasso of truth, and she comes out and does wonder woman stuff i feel it unfortunate that they have to dress her like wonder woman for you to recognize that she's an, a, a powerful creature mm. mm-hmm. but yeah we'll see we'll see how immortal wonder woman is all mm. right what what would you rate this comic i'll leave it here so you can remember <laughs> Uh, what would you rate this comic in total? You've you've just paid five ninety nine for this comic. Yeah, hmm. I think going for my six point five, I'd have to drop it down to like a like a four and a half. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, it's seven ninety nine. Uh. I still think my score stays. You know, I liked the first part of it, but there's so much of it I didn't like. It just would have been like disappointing, but I'd st- I'm still glad that I got through the the Superman stuff. What are you thinking, Rom? Yeah. Um see. What did I say? Seven at the beginning for the for the Superman part? Yeah, 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 we were both at seven. I'll drop it to like a three with the rest. Like it just, I mean, there was that really outstanding part, you know, with me and Bialik, <laughs> but it couldn't, <laughs> and but it couldn't save the whole comic. And <laughs> uh, for me, it's a three, and the reason being is that if I bought this comic. I wouldn't even read the second half of the comic. Uh, so it splits my score in half. So three and a half, three, three and a half. Um, and you can't return the comic to get your $4 back from <laughs> the stack of crappy stories you just read. Just tear out the front and <laughs> give them the back. Just well, like, I don't once want again, this part. <clears throat> so th- what they should have done is combined the Superman story was the extra stories of Green Lantern. And that's one comic. Yes. Um, and get rid of the John Stewart part of the Green Lantern comic, because that's <laughs> the part I didn't like. They should call Rob before they do any of this. Yeah. 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 Let me co- let me combine the stories. Oh god. And we'll put all the <laughs> me and Bialik ones together with Flash. <laughs> Um, because he explains how you get crime solved with forensics, and then also Supergirl, so she can tell you where Earth is. 
because <laughs> um, that's what Supergirl's like whole stick is, right? Like she's like, I'm Supergirl, and Superman's like, I've got it covered. Could you go tell people where Earth is? And she's like, Got it. <laughs> and she flies away. I know, I know everything about Superman. <laughs> okay, so what is what is the favorite comic? Yeah. Out of the three. Okay, so splitting up that Superman comic again. Yes. <laughs> yes. Sure. I would I would say I had the most fun reading about that Smallville transition that they went through and kind of how people are acting and then a little bit of going into what Superman's going through right now. I liked that whole thing more than any of the other comics. But still, yeah. If I were to have to say which comic book is maybe the most, you know, it would be the best out of the three. I'd have to go with the Hulk one because that one felt like the most comic booky. It gave you what you were looking for. Complete um, story. Complete story. There's, you know, there was some stuff that, you know, I felt like it probably shouldn't be a number one. There, there might have been, you know, something yeah. else that led up to it. But it just was the the most complete book out of these three that was, you know, in more enjoyable from start to finish. Yeah, I. I what's sad to me. Is that at eight dollars, a lot of people won't get to read that Superman story. I mean, that's yeah. a good point. Then, yeah. Anyhow, uh, I'm gonna go with Transformers. I didn't understand who a single Transformer was. I didn't understand the point of the story. I didn't understand what blood meant. But what I did like about it was that it wasn't, it didn't have crappy stories at the end and it didn't kill children. <laughs> so it is the better of the worst of them. Rob, what you got? I'm a, yeah, uh, so I'm of a similar in that if you were to split up the Superman stories, yeah, that first Superman story sits on top for me, like yeah. by far. Yeah. Um, but unfortunately, as much as like the Maestro comic really isn't my thing, and there's there's themes in it that I'm not thrilled with. Uh, if for me it was the it was the best read, like I, it it felt like it flowed. As much as like I think Murray pointed this out, as much as it was a number one, and there were things where I'm like, well, wait a minute, what happened? Like, it, yeah. are, are there things I'm supposed to know? Um, it just flowed the best. Uh, Definitely agree with and that. So maybe the the best of them. <laughs> I'm, yeah, but when I say it, it's like the best of the worst, right? Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's, you're comparing a. Uh, Three a and a half literal, to a three. <laughs> yeah, like a, a literal <laughs> yes. pick your poison. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. You know, it's like, oh, pick one of these ropes you want to get hung with. It's like, yes. uh, it's like so, but yeah, I had that Superman story filled like a whole comic, that would have been amazing. It would have, it would have, yeah, most likely easily won if Superman didn't kill any children. I, the only weakness that I see in that Superman comic is that. I mean, the Superman story is that there wasn't enough expose about where Superman was and why he was there. Right? They kind of moved that from the beginning of the comic sure. to the back of the comic, like how it finished. So, but yeah, I'm mean, a great story. Unfortunately, we're not reading stories, we're reading comics yep. as a whole. Yep. Um, yeah, someone not- decided to put these stories together for some reason. And yes. Thought, Let's charge a premium funny, for this. <laughs> even then, it, it, I think they say it in in the panels or the, or the beginning of the other stories or something. But it's kind of like, hey, this picks up where this other comic left off, and it's kind of like, yeah. well, this is the first one. <laughs> yeah. It picks up where the other comic <laughs> left off. Like, are they not going to address this in the other comics <laughs> series when it comes up? Like, yeah, nah, it's, it's, a, just, it's, it's weird. It's a my, weird thing that they've tried to do i guess my pool list cost has gone from about 130 dollars a week to 180 oh wow because of the future estate stuff oh 
man but at so, least they have know, multiple covers you know it's uh, uh, quality yeah real quality stuff being pushed out <laughs> unfortunate uh, unfortunate all right but, so uh much like last week we went over time much like last week we decided that comics are crap for this week but if you we want all it, we all liked the Power Ranger comic, I think, or the Mighty Morphin <laughs> one. I feel like if we were honest with ourselves, it would be the best of the worst. Like, yeah, uh-huh. it's a piece of crap. But look, it's got more corn in it, so let's eat it. <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> we're still waiting to rate above like an eight. Like, yeah, see yeah. if we get there. But if you're looking for a good story, get a hold of that Superman story. The whole comic is not worth eight bucks, but that story is definitely worth the four bucks that you would normally buy a comic for. Yeah. Yep. Um, sure. Yeah. So that's it. Next week we'll do a similar thing. I like this kind of thing us badgering comics. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, this next week I have a few yeah. unboxings to do, including. Um, <laughs> a box from a guy that calls himself John the Con, and he oh. says that he makes the best boxes, okay. comic boxes. Like, so that's I'm a going huge to claim. yes. So I'm going to review it in two ways: an honest review, and then a review. And a dishonest I, review, <laughs> <laughs> and then an honest, and then a review how I see people on the internet do it, where they don't want to piss the guy off. Uh, and they're like, oh man. This comic's worth twelve dollars. It's a two dollar comic, right? So I'm gonna do it in two different ways. That'll be next week, um, whenever I get the box. You guys can join me for that if you want to. Um, I also want to give you guys control over the YouTube account. Oh so boy! If you oh. want to film stuff for yourself, you can do that too. Oh, what a disservice to the community! This <laughs> 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 be like the. <laughs> When in Wayne's world, it just focused on Garth. <laughs> Are we like the spinoff that no one watches? How's oh, it going? Oh, but, uh, yeah, that's, that's cool. That's cool. If I ever think of something to record, I would definitely do it. <laughs> All right. Um, and then we also talked about maybe doing some game streaming at some point, so... Yeah, and doing a uh, doing a giveaway at the end of the month. Yes, we're definitely doing a giveaway, Murray. You oh, your cool. Friends. Do I get it? No, you don't get oh. it. Next week, <laughs> we're actually giving you then. away. <laughs> <laughs> what other YouTube channel wants me? So if you'd like to win Murray, uh, <laughs> make sure you're subscribed. <laughs> you might get a free like little Indonesian person with him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she makes that's, great food. That's the real prize there. So so we'll give away something. I haven't decided on quite what it is. They'll need to comment and subscribe and like the video that we do. So all 10 people are eligible for the prize. And then we'll do the uh, drawing the week after. If that makes sense. Yeah. All right, guys, that's it. I appreciate you coming out and laughing at a comic or two. Yeah. Yeah, it was fun. All yeah. right. Bye, guys. See ya. Thanks, guys. See ya. <laughs>